If your feed is anything like mine, then you've probably seen these outfit collages everywhere from Instagram to Pinterest to even TikTok. And you've probably saved a few of them as outfit inspo for the future because, you know, the outfits look cute. Which begs the question, do these outfit collages actually look cute in person? Or are we just being deluded to think that these outfits look good because they're being paired with really nice jewelry and really nice accessories? Today, we're going to find out the answer to that question because I'm going to be recreating a couple of these outfit collages I've personally saved to find out whether they actually translate to good outfits in person or they just look cute together in the collage. Hi, my name is Alyssa Leanne. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since you've seen this wide angle. Today, we're finally back with another outfit video. So today, I'm going to be recreating a few outfits I've saved to my TikTok and to my Pinterest. These outfits, in theory, are outfits that I thought would look good in person, but today, we're going to put that to the test. Sometimes, these outfits only look good because they're paired with the perfect accessories that I personally don't own or the colors just match well. So like, they look visually appealing in the photo, but in person, they don't try. Slave. I've got the outfit saved to my laptop. So the first outfit is actually a pretty safe outfit and I picked it because there are some pieces in this photo that look similar to things I've bought recently. Basic pieces, so let's see if this actually translates to a good outfit in person. Here's the outfit recreated. So I'm wearing pretty similar pieces and I feel like it's kind of lacking another pop of brown. I know that the brown bag used in the collage is bigger so it'll probably work more because like the brown in the outfit is like more present but something's missing you know something's off plus the sneakers look okay in the collage but i feel like for this outfit when you actually execute it in person it just doesn't give off a sneaker vibe i feel like sneakers are a little too casual for this look and not in a way that it kind of dresses the outfit down it's in a way that kind of makes it look out of place so instead of sneakers i'd probably wear brown boots to tie in the brown a little bit more i love being matchy matchy it's a crime or i would wear cream heels and then add a brown belt to just add a little something to it because it's kind of lacking right now overall i think it's a good outfit it just isn't exactly there i would rate it like a 7 out of 10 because it's cute it's a new idea but i wouldn't copy it exactly so okay the next outfit is something far far simpler i know this one is going to work but i just don't know if it'll actually look good or it'll look boring and basic not in a good way. Just a sweatshirt, trousers, a tote bag, sneakers. I picked this because the person that made this mood board like added a bunch of things to the background to make the outfit look better, to like put you in the situation, you know what I mean? They added an iPad, the laptop, the AirPods, the Cartier watch, just to make it like vibey. But like the outfit in itself, is it actually good? Let's see. This is the really basic outfit without all of the things around it to set the mood. What do we think? Personally, I think it's a good-ish outfit like as a basic person who loves basic outfits. Is it something that I would put on a mood board to remember for later? Maybe not because this looks like the type of outfit I would put together on a rush where like I have absolutely no time and I need to put together an outfit but overall it's okay I guess. I do think that the items around the outfit that are put there to set the mood really elevate the outfit and bring it like to another level. I used my creative liberty to add a little bit of jewelry to it and do the little front tuck. Apparently, allegedly, front tucks are a millennial thing. I'm Gen Z, but I think the front tuck does this outfit justice because without it, it's like I came here in pajamas. But like with the front tuck, it kind of makes it better. I wouldn't really make any changes to this outfit. It's really basic and I wouldn't really add anything to it. I would rate this outfit an 8 out of 10. It's a good outfit, but it's not revolutionary. So it doesn't really deserve a perfect 10, even if it's something I would wear. For the next outfit, I don't really have the same dress, but I do have really similar pieces. Just a dress, some heels, a bag, just really basic things. So I don't think this outfit looks good because of the expensive accessories i think it looks good because if you look at the soles of the heels in the picture they're the same pattern as the dress so like it looks like it's all tied together let's see if this outfit would actually tie together in person here's the outfit in person this is the type of outfit collage i like recreating because these are pieces i've already had in my wardrobe that i wouldn't really think to wear together because this dress is black and white i would usually just pair it with a black or white bag but today we're pairing it with this dark brown bag which i think is kind of unique the only thing i'm substituting in this outfit are the heels i'm wearing black heels because i don't own any dark brown heels but i think it's fine because it's the same style overall i think it's a good outfit but the sunglasses on the forehead are definitely a necessary accessory because without them it kind of just looks messy with the black and white and then the brown and then the black heels it just ties everything together and makes everything look put together i think it's the sandwich method rule thing i would rate this a 9 out of 10 this is something i would definitely wear i want to save the 10 for the perfect outfit so this is getting a 9 the next outfit is the type of outfit I was talking about in the intro. It's a really basic outfit with good accessories and I think that the accessories in this outfit are what makes it a good outfit. Honestly, it's a silk top. I don't have the exact one but I have a similar one. Some blue jeans which are 
bedazzled, but I think the bedazzles here are subtle enough that we could go without them. Green boots and then the elephant in the room, the Birkin, which I don't own the Birkin, so we're going to have to substitute that. And then some gold Van Cleef jewelry. Now, let's see if this is actually a good outfit or the Birkin makes it a good outfit. Be honest with me, did this outfit eat? Because I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to feel about it. I think I recreated it pretty well, honestly, aside from the bag. Everything is pretty similar. My top has a like tie thing here, but I couldn't really hide it well, but I think overall it gives off the same vibe because it's satin too. My boots right now are knee-high boots that I tucked into my jeans. That's some real dedication for the video. And then for my bag, I'm just wearing this one. I couldn't really find a Birkin dupe in my wardrobe, so I think this will do because it matches the vibe of the outfit. Like, I just used my creative liberty to add this bag instead. But yeah, overall, followed everything. I think I like this outfit, I just don't know where I would wear it. Also, whenever I wear these knee-high boots, I tend to wear shorts or a skirt so that everyone can see that I'm wearing knee-high boots. So hiding the fact that I'm wearing knee-high boots is new for me. Okay, I've decided I like this outfit. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. It's a good outfit whether or not you have a Birkin. I think it's okay. It's raining really hard right now. I'm sorry for the audio. But to me, it's not really the most casual everyday outfit, especially because it's satin and it stains super easily and it's not the coolest material to wear in Philippine weather. It took a while for it to marinate in my brain and fully sink in that this is a good outfit, but it's actually a good outfit. Here's the next outfit. It's another one of those outfits where they added a bunch of unnecessary things to set the mood, which I think kind of delude me to think that this is going to work out for me. So the outfit consists of a black t-shirt and a black skirt which together to me honestly looks pretty witchy they paired it with some brown accessories to make it less witchy i'm assuming they also added a bunch of unnecessary things to the background like the Miu Miu wallet and the stupidly overpriced hairbrush it's from this brand called eve's Drury. but i googled it it's expensive for a hairbrush so let's see if it's going to work okay Here's the outfit. Admittedly, okay, admittedly, I did make a lot of changes to this outfit because I have to work with what I have, okay? But I think I got the top and the skirt pretty, like, decently correct. Sunglasses are here, correct. Bag, completely different. The bag in the photos from Dragon Diffusion, and I really don't have anything similar to it in my closet. Aside from this, which I think is more similar in color, but I think it would do the outfit dirty, so... We're going to use this little tiny petite bag instead of that big one in the photo. And then the thing I had to change the most are the sandals. I don't have any girly girl like small sandals. I only have these chunky Birkenstocks. So I'm wearing them with those right now. But you can't see my feet so... Pretend like I'm wearing like little petite sandals. But of course, to make up for the changes I made, I also had to compensate, you know? You gotta work with what you have here so... I present to you my hairbrush. It's like the one in the picture. I mean, not really, but kind of, right? It doesn't even fit in the bag, so like, we're gonna have to hold it like this. Also, I noticed that there's a little like description on the top, so let's read it out loud for you. Running the left end for your summer holiday. Does it give off that vibe? Comment down below. I would give this outfit like a 6 out of 10. I don't think it's that good. I do kind of feel like I look a little bit emo. It looks better in the photo because of the mood they set, but like in real life, it's not my usual style, but it's okay. 6 out of 10. We're going to do a really simple one next. Now, this one I picked simply because there's a glass of red wine in the mood board. Like, is that supposed to be part of the outfit? I get the fragrance in the mood board because like it's kind of part of the vibe you give off, but the red wine, really. This is the outfit recreated and like something's missing. Can you guess? There's no bag in the outfit collage, like, it's just this. But I'm going to wear a bag with it for this video, you know, give it a little bit justice. Because I feel like an outfit isn't an outfit without the bag. It just brings the whole thing together. Even if this outfit isn't really giving me any new, fresh ideas, I still think it's a good, like, everyday outfit. I think I'm gonna give this, like, an 8.5 out of 10. Overall, the outfit collage is pretty well accessorized, which I didn't see in the previous collages. I feel like they just did, like, a pair of earrings or something like that. This one, well accessorized. Now, was the one fourth full glass of red wine necessary for this outfit collage? No, it kind of needed the bag more than the glass of red wine. But it's okay, I'll forgive it. Fine, 8.5. Next outfit's really basic again, but I promise if you stick through the next outfit the next ones won't be as basic so it's just a black shirt some jeans and brown accessories i personally don't really like pairing black with brown even if i did a couple of times in this video i really don't do that in person especially with blue i feel like blue and the brown and the black it's a bit much i usually just pair black with blue or brown with blue here's the outfit because i've added so many outfits here with brown bags i switched it up this is a crossbody bag i literally just tucked in the straps so that's the vibe also this is more cool tone we've got options of brown bags this one's warm tone this one's dark this one's 
cool tone. So this one, looks the rest of this. The only thing I'm missing in this outfit is the black headband, which wouldn't really be obvious on me because my hair is pretty dark. Overall, I kind of recreated the exact outfit. There aren't any accessories in the outfit, which like I think it lacks, like at least a bracelet or something, but I tried to keep it minimal to stay true to that look. The jeans I'm wearing right now are a darker wash than the ones in the picture, which I think helps it be more cohesive with the black and the brown. Rate it in the comments, kidding. Um, I would rate it a 7 out of 10 because this is honestly one of the most boring outfits I've seen in my life. But what can I say? It works. Moving on, as promised, the next outfit isn't as basic. I'm just gonna outright say it right now, I don't own that mesh top. But we're gonna make some like changes to it. These blue jeans and then a pattern bag plus green heels. I picked this outfit because I have this pair of green heels that I absolutely cannot style for the life of me. They're kind of dusty because I haven't used them for that long but I have these and I've never worn them because I thought in theory they would look nice because I saw them on someone I like so I bought them kind of regret them now so I'm gonna try to make them work with like a basic outfit and then a pattern bag let's see if it works because I need to get my money's worth with these heels I know it's a little far off but this is the closest I could get I really don't own any mesh tops like that so this is close enough we follow the color scheme um here are the heels that we were trying to style you barely see them because my jeans are long but i think they go with the outfit pretty well they are kind of hard to walk in so i don't know if i would actually wear this but as an outfit i made sure to match the green on the bag with the green on the heels because that's what they did in the outfit here so that's kind of what i'm getting from that outfit i think the outfit and the collage would honestly look really good because this sad copycat knockoff version i've made right now looks decent so that one that one definitely looks good. I would give this like an 8 out of 10. I couldn't personally recreate it, but I know it would look good. Okay, last but not the least, as I was planning this video, I realized that I forgot to add outfits with skirts or shorts. So I added one to the end. This one's pretty basic, but I found it pretty intriguing. Because as you can see right here, Kate Moss is in the picture. <laughs> I think that's the vibe we're going for. Like Kate Moss model off-duty vibes. There's also a very minimal looking house in the picture, which kind of honestly, if I look at it, closely looks like a hospital. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look mid-century modern slay. Yeah, I picked it because I feel like there are a lot of photos added to this that kind of overcompensate for the outfit itself. So let's try the outfit, let's see what we think. Super cute, super schoolgirly. I kind of like it actually. In the collage, there isn't any socks or anything, but I added these white socks because I felt like they would look best with the mary janes because i feel kind of weird wearing the mary janes with nothing like i either wear it with like a stocking sock or these i think what this is lacking is a belt because i feel like it's kind of lacking something up here either an oversized jacket or you know a belt the skirt in the picture isn't exactly the same but it has belt loops too so you could easily just add a belt actually let's add the belt right now okay i feel like it looks better with the belt let me know what you think but yeah this is the last outfit and i think even if kate moss and the psychiatric ward looking room is in the picture i don't think it takes anything away from the outfit it's still a pretty good outfit i think it kind of just lacks accessories and you know like socks and stuff like that you know we could have used the space for kate moss for socks but okay we're ending this video without any tens but i'm going to rate this outfit a 7.5 out of 10. it was lacking this belt like without this belt i feel like i wouldn't wear this fit out but with the belt it's giving. I like it. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed because I actually really enjoyed putting together these outfits. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on my post notifications, follow me on Instagram at Alyssa Lian and on TikTok at Alyssa's Fids. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Bye!